Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how you can create your own animated GIF and then add that GIF to a slide master so it runs on every slide. So first of all, I've got a image on the screen. This is my logo. What I'm going to do is basically crop this. So if I go to picture format and crop, in fact, before I crop, crop it I need to copy it so let's copy it do control D duplicate and duplicate again so it gives me three of the same and then just move these down out of the way so if I put these in some sort of stack so I can get them lined up like so now I want to that's it, they're lined up. So I want to animate each of these. So let's go to animate and add animation, more dissolve in, do the same for that one, add animation, more entrance effects, dissolve in, and the same for that one, add animation, more entrance effects, dissolve in. So I've got that coming in. Now if I put the animation pane on so you can see that, if I play from the top they're just going to dissolve in like that. Now what I want to do is just copy one of these and then paste it over the other side and then I'm going to crop this. Let's get rid of that animation on this one. So I'll just do Control D on that one to get a second one. And I want to crop this now. So first one picture format crop I want to get rid of the text so I'll just crop that out of the way and this one I want to do it the other way around and get rid of the logo or the image and just have the text like that then I can push that up there like so and now if I hold my shift key down I can animate those two Animations, add animation, dissolve in. You can use whatever animation you like, but I like this. So at the moment, if I go to the top and play from, they're all just going to dissolve in like so. Uh, these are coming in together. So what I need to do there is just delete that one off. Get that to animate separately. Add animation. Must have had them still selected when I did that. So that comes in at five. So I've got five play from the beginning, then three coming together, then that one, then that one. Now I want to create an, an animated GIF on that, of this. Now this could be, I know I'm just using a logo here, but this could be just some information like steps, phase one, phase two, phase three, review, project management terms. And I'm going to put this animation in to an animated GIF and then put that GIF into a slide master. So to create a GIF, you go to File, Export, and Create Animated GIF. And you can change the settings. It's only one slide, so I'll put two seconds on that. Create it. Then it's going to ask you to save it. I'll just call it Logo GIF. And put it in Documents. And save. Now to use that GIF or see that GIF, if I just get a blank slide and then go insert picture, insert picture from this device and put in documents, logo GIF, that one. So it comes in and it just plays in the same way as you set it up. So that's now playing away. You can see the thing there is a little video playing like so. So this slide could be a subliminal message if you wanted this running on every slide. Now to get it to run on every slide, you have to do this. So I'm just going to get rid of that now because it's annoying. And I'm going to open another file. Let's open Waterloo. Now in there, I haven't got a anything running in the background. So to do it, you go into the view, slide master option. 
and you get onto the top slide which is the main one if you like so whatever you put on this slide cascades through them all or you could just pick a particular slide type and put it on there so if I insert that GIF now so if I go up to insert picture from this device find that um, logo GIF that one is that the one click on that so that's the one now I need to make that a lot smaller than that you still can see it you can see that it's going to go on every every screen and then I'm just going to push that into the top corner so that's going to now be on every slide and that's going to be your sublimable message if I close this you can see it's running now obviously I've got that um, the top right and the polling sitting on it so I'll just move him out of the way but you can see how that would work if I put that into full screen that is running away in the corner so step one step two step three review or whatever that says you know, it's a message that you want to be viewable on every slide so as you're giving the rest of the presentation people can still see what the main focus of the whole presentation is about maybe Press escape on that to come back down. Now that's all I want to talk about. Creating the, your own GIF and having it running in the slide master so it appears on every slide. So hopefully that was of interest. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one.